Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to do course, question number 3 of activity 10.4. Question number 1 and 2 are already done. If you want to see them, watch the previous videos. Now, question number 3 says that produce the logic circuit and complete a truth table to represent the following scenario. A power station has a safety system controlled by a logic circuit. Three inputs to the logic circuit. There are three inputs. Determine whether the output S, S is your output, is 1. When S equals to 1, the power station shuts down. The following table describes the conditions being monitored. So look at this table. In this table, there are three input parameters that you are going to monitor for this uh, power station. So the first one is G, which represents gas temperature. And it must have only two values. Either G is going to be 0 or 1. Next is R, which is reactor pressure. R can also have only two values, either 0 or 1. And W, which is water temperature, is also going to have 0 or 1. We have to monitor all of these three input parameter values because all of these values are going to determine a certain condition. So look at this. If value of G is 0, it means that gas temperature is less than or equals to 160. If it is 1, it means gas temperature is greater than 160. For R, the reactor pressure, if it is 0, it means the reactor pressure is less than or equals to 10 BAR. And then if it is 1, then reactor pressure is greater than 10. For W, if the value of W is 0, it means water pressure is less than or equals to 120. And if it is 1, it means the water temperature is greater than 120. So keep in mind that all of these parameter values are representing a certain condition that we have to monitor. Now look at this. Output S will generate a value 1 if there are three conditions that you have to see. If any one of these conditions becomes 1, because look at this, there is OR between these three conditions. So if any one will be 1, if it is zero, 1, it is 0, 0, your S is going to be 1. And it means that the power station is going to shut down depending upon the value of S if it is 1. Or in other case, if it is 0, if the first one is 0 and the third one is 0, but the second condition is 1, then also the power station is going to shut down, keeping in, in mind that there is OR between these three conditions. Or the third one can be, if these two are 0 and this will be 1, then again your power station will shut down. These are the clear things that we understand through this description. But in order to be detailed about this power station, what you have to do, you have to produce a logic expression first. The logic expression must be in its standard form so that we can easily make the logic circuit and the truth table out of it. So let's just quickly make the logic expression using these given conditions. So the first condition for output S equals to 1 is gas temperature greater than 160 degree centigrade along with and water temperature is less than equals to 120. Okay, before that I really want to tell you one important thing and what is that? If your input parameter, let's suppose, let's talk about G. If the value of G is 0, then in your logic expression, you are go going to write it as not G. And if it is 1, you will write it G. 
same goes for r if the value of r is 0 in your logic expression you will write not r otherwise r same for w if w is 0 it will be written as not w in the logic expression otherwise it will be w for value 1 now let's start with these conditions the first thing says gas temperature is greater than 160 which means that this condition is true gas temperature greater than 160 this says that the value of g is 1 so let me just write down g here g is not going to be written as not g because it has a value 1 next is your and operator so write down and as it is the next condition attached to it is water temperature is less than equals to 120 so look at your water temperature less than equals to 120 means that it is zero so we will be writing it as not w we are done with the first two conditions put a bracket and then write down or because these three conditions are having or between them so let's write down or outside the bracket the next condition next condition is gas temperature is less than equals to 160 look at this gas temperature less than equals to 160 means that g is zero and if g is zero we will write it as not g then there is and in your condition and the next one is reactor pressure is greater than 10 okay it means that in your table when the reactor pressure is greater than 10 it means that r has a value 1 so you will be writing r as it is in your logic expression now close the bracket the second condition is also done now there is or so we will write the or outside now the third condition is water temperature is greater than 120 look at this if water temperature is greater than 120 it means that w has a value 1 so we will be writing w as it is after w there is end so write down end and the last thing is reactor pressure is greater than 10 if the reactor pressure is greater than 10 it means that r has a value 1 so you will be writing r as it is so it becomes w and r so this is how you have to write down the logic expression in the simplest form okay now let's move towards the logic circuit let me quickly produce the logic circuit of this logic expression remember th remember that in order to produce the logic circuit you have to make the circuits for these three inner brackets so the first bracket has an input value g make a line for g and not w the other line will be not w so there is w but you have to pass it through an inverter to make it not w so here you will get not w we are done now both of these inputs are going to be passed through an AND gate so let's take these input lines and pass it through an AND gate so that you are going to have the first bracket that is G AND not W now moving towards the second inner bracket that is not G and R so you have to take G and then pass it through an inverter to make it not G this is not 
G and not G is going with R the input R so let's write down R here this is the line for input R now both of these lines are going to be passed through AND gate look at this there is an AND gate between these two inputs so make an AND gate here whose output is going to be not G and R now finally you need to have W and R so we will take a line from W and we will take a line from R both of these lines are going to pass through AND gate so we will be making another AND gate here and we will have the result as W and R. Once we are done with all of these three input brackets, now you have to do an OR operation between them. There is OR operation between all of these three brackets. So it's very easy. You can connect all of these intermediate values through an through an OR gate. There is an OR gate that can accept three inputs. So you will pass these three lines into an OR gate so that you will be having the final result as X, not X, in this example, the output is S. So S equals to your logic expression. The first input for the OR gate was G. Let me write it here G and not W was the first input to this OR gate. Then there is an OR operation done with the second input that is not G and R oh, and R and the third input to the OR gate was W and R. So this is how you are going to produce the logic circuit for this particular example. Okay, we are done with this logic circuit part. Now quickly moving towards the truth table. Okay, so here is the truth table. Let me quickly tell you the columns that I made. G, R and W are your input parameters. Then you have two columns that is not G and not W. Why I made these? Because look at your logic expression. Here you have two inputs that are being inverted. Not W and not G. That's why. The third thing is I made three columns for the inner brackets. The first one is representing G and not W. The second one is for not G and R. And the third one is for W and R. And the final is your X. Sorry, S. S is your final output that is the result of OR operation between these three inner brackets. So let's quickly start with the working. In the first three columns, you have to write down the eight binary combinations for your input parameters. So with W, it will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. With R, it is going to be two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones. With G, it will be four zeros and four ones. Then the next two columns are going to be inversion. Not G is basically the values of G are going to be inverted. So it becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Not W is basically the inversion of W. So it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We are done with not G and not W. Now quickly moving towards our first in our bracket, we will solve it by considering G 
column of G and not W. And this is going to be the binary multiplication since there is an AND operation between them. So, 1, 0 into 1 is 0. 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0. When you are doing AND, remember that if two of your input values are 1, only then the output will be 1. Otherwise, you will put 0. It's the binary multiplication. Okay, next, let's calculate for the second inner bracket. Okay, next one is not G and R. It means you will consider not G, this one, and R. And what you have to do, you have to end them. So look at this. 0 into 1 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. Then 1 into 1 is 1. Then 1 into 1 is 1. Then 0 into 0 is 0. Then 0 into 0 is 0. Then 1 into 0 is 0. Then 1 into 0 is 0. So this is not G and R. Now moving towards the third one. That is very easy. You have to do end operation between W and R. So here it is. 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 0 is is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. So we are done. Now finally you have to do OR operation between these three columns. So let's do the binary addition. If any one of these columns has a value 1, so remember that your output is going to be 1. 0, 0, 0 means 0. 0, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1, 0 is 1. 0, 1, 1 is 1. 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. Oh, sorry for this. 1, 0, 0 is 1 because you have 1 here. 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is the binary addition. If you have 1 in any of these three columns, you must write 1 in your output. So that's it. This is your final result. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel because in the next video, we are going to do question number 4, which is another important question of this topic. Stay tuned, stay connected. Bye-bye.